subscribers that have, you know, saw me on the front page of YouTube. Todd Oldham picked my video and, you know, my dryer sheet wreath. I love it. It smells real good, too. I brought it inside here just to add some drama to the trailer here. And, you know, I've decked the double wide and we're all getting ready for the holidays. And I need a great cookie to take over to my neighbors. And, you know, I like those cocoa cereal, you know, the little puff stuff, you know, it, it's cocoa, and, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of one of my old pet rabbits, but I do like the, the chocolate little puffy cereal, and, you know, we're going to use a spice today that is known in another country. The foreign people have all the great spices, and... You won't find this spice at the dollar store, so don't go look for it there. It, I, I'll have to sound the alarm. This is an expensive spice. It's called ground cardamom, and this is, it's got a really exotic, don't sniff it too hard because it's all powdery, it's ground up. And it, it's just got this exotic scent that we're going to put in our cookie today. And, you know, I think you're going to have to go to the expensive section of the spices, not that 99 cents, you know, the dehydrated onion style, you know, you know that section that you go to all the time. Well, you're going to have to go to the expensive section where they put it in the pretty containers there. And it's a spice. It's actually a seed. And, you know, my mama always told me, Jolene, I'm going to send you to Tanzania when I was bad, but, you know, this spice actually comes from Tanzania, and, you know, it, they used it to clean their teeth, the seed, they put it in there, and it freshened their breath, and, you know, it was used for all sorts of things, but today we're going to make it a cookie with the, the cocoa cereal here, too. So, it, I'm going to show you how to do it next, up on the show. Cooking with Joe Lane, the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my cocoa cardamom cereal cookies. Two eggs. Two cups of your favorite chocolate flavored corn puff cereal. One cup all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Half teaspoon ground nutmeg. One fourth teaspoon ground cardamom. One eighth teaspoon salt. Here's how you put it together. You'll need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You'll need a mixing bowl to mix everything around. First, you're going to take the eggs and you're going to mix them up and beat them until they're very thick. Now, I'm 
going to put the one cup sugar into the eggs that I've beaten up until they are nice and fluffy. Now add the one cup flour and beat that around too. Now add the half teaspoon nutmeg, the one four teaspoon salt, the one four teaspoon ground cardamom, the one and a half teaspoons of vanilla too. Sometimes I like to add just a dash of my favorite secret ingredient, the imitation vanilla butter and nut flavor. And now, finally, the two cups of the cocoa flavored corn puff cereal. Now, mix it all around. Now, we're going to put the dough in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes until it gets stiff. No comments about that. You'll need a baking pan. and grease it too. Our dough's been in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to put them on the baking pan about two inches apart and you know we can fit a lot on the baking pan and we're just going to uh, make about, I don't know, about a teaspoonful little glimes of them. Look at that. Look how great that works once they've been in the refrigerator. Oh. Just like that. Well, oh, that's a little too big. Teaspoon. There we go. Just pop it right there on the baking pan. Well, it fell on the floor. That's not what you want to do at home. I don't know how that jumped off the tray there. That was like, I must have a poltergeist or something. That's not good for Christmas. Now, in between batches, make sure that your pan is cool because the cookies will start spreading and they just won't come out as pretty. We've already preheated our oven at 375, and these are going to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes till they're nice and golden brown around the edges, and then we're going to cool them on a rack, and then we're going to eat them. Now, let's put them in our preheated oven, 10 to 12 minutes, 375 degrees. Set your timer. Ouch. I have one of my cocoa cardamom cookies that has cooled off and my kitchen smells so good with all those spices and I just can't wait to see what it tastes like. Wow, with just that little bit, mmm, that's good. With just that little bit of uh, cardamom, it just has this vibrant, exotic taste. And, you know, these will really make your holiday. And I just can't wait for you to try these because I think you'd be really surprised. They have those, the, the cocoa cereal in there and the cardamom and the nutmeg and the vanilla. It's really a great holiday treat or an anytime treat. Wow, you need to try that. There'll be more cooking shows just around the corner. I'm filming just all the time. And, you know, leave a comment down at the bottom. I take pride in saying hello as much as I can to you. I, I want to get to know you, so be sure to leave something. Say hello. You know, I'll show you how to do it the Trailer Park way and get all filled with pride in the double wide and be white trash with class. From my trailer to yours, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at JoleneSugarbaker.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.
Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Visit my store at jolanesugarbiker.com.